Just a quick one guys before we get into today's video, we have released our brand new summer drop that includes some new and exciting designs, including our Arne slot t-shirt, European royalty t-shirt, trophy wall tee and others. We have also introduced jumpers to our store. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or head into copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video is always here to bring you up to date with all of the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours and actually the, the vast majority of this video is going to be with regards to transfers. We've had a big update from Fabrizio Romano with regards to a few different things including some shock transfer news, we've also got some stuff from the mail, we've also got some stuff from Sky Sports, so quite a few bits and pieces that I'm going to be going over. We'll spend a good large chunk of this video discussing it. But first, I just want to go through uh, Dominic Sabozlai just unveiling Liverpool's new away kit for 2024-2025. Yes, though Liverpool are yet to officially launch their new away kit for the 2024-2025 campaign, Sabozlai has already unveiled it in an event in the United States. Sabozlai took part in a special Q&A in Philadelphia on Tuesday as a part of LFC at the Fillmore event alongside teammates Owen Beckham. Jarel Kwansar. While Beck and Kwansar were wearing official LFC polo shirts, the Hungarian could be seen wearing a black top under his branded hoodie. Asked by a member of the crowd if he was wearing Liverpool's new away shirt, Sabozlai unzipped his hoodie to reveal the new black and teal design for the new campaign. So yeah, that's the new kit, he smiled, good eyes. The away kit has not officially been unveiled, but here at LFC News, we understand that the Liverpool will wear it in the final friendly of their US tour against Manchester United. Its official colorway is reported as Night Forest, Antrikip, Wash Teal and Sail, which effectively means various shades of black and grey with teal and off-white details. Liverpool's new away shirt features a crew neck collar in dark grey with teal detailing on the cuffs and around the shoulders. The LFC badge, Nike swoosh and logos for sponsors Standard Chartered are Expedia off-white. The Reds have worn their new home kit for the 2024-2025 uh, three times already against Wolves on the final day of the last season then the warm-up friendlies against Preston and Real Betis. After a 1-0 victory over Real Betis in the first official friendly of pre-season, slot side face Arsenal in Philadelphia and Manchester United in Colombia to round off the tour. They will then return to Merseyside where they are expected to play Las Palmas in a behind-closed-doors friendly on August 10th before hosting Sevilla at Anfield on August 11th. So there you go, the away it has been officially leaked uh, courtesy of Mr. Dominic Sabozlai. Now, let's get into some transfer news, guys. There has been a lot over the last sort of 12 hours. Uh, some shock bits of transfer news. There's lots from Fabrizio Romano. There's just tons. So let's just start off with the first bit. So, Fabrizio Romano on his podcast last night stated keep an eye on Anthony Gordon. Very much true that Liverpool are still monitoring um, him as a potential uh, uh, target for this summer. He also stated what I'm hearing is Liverpool could sign something like two to three players based on opportunities this summer. He also stated Liverpool are looking at centre-backs and midfielders as a priority. Many things will depend on outgoings. Following that, Fabrizio Romano did, of course, confirm that Liverpool are finally set to complete the PL5 step investigation process on Rio Nugama to join the football club. And it does look as though he will be joining the 2008-born talent. Has already agreed to move after he left Chelsea, as I revealed a few weeks ago. Um, but as stated, that is... Um, gone through the necessary things to, to get there. Another transfer news, Southampton apparently are joining the race to look and try and sign Seth Vanderberg after PSV had a bid rejected recently. Following this, ladies and gentlemen, Sky Sports came out and stated that, uh, well, the guy on Sky Sports this morning that you may have already seen, stated that Liverpool will be signing players. He said, I guarantee you, Liverpool will sign players this summer. M Michael Edwards and Richard Hughes are looking to attack the market at some stage. That is uh, definite. They will be signing players this summer. Um, also, Joe Gomez is accordingly open to leaving Liverpool this summer. And there's been more on the port stated that basically uh, Newcastle returned with a proposal to buy Gomez for £45 million and sell Gordon for £75 million. A medical was planned in Leipzig for the players. Newcastle found solutions in selling other players. And so Gomez to Gordon deal was called off. So there was uh, reports that um, Gordon and um, uh, and uh, Gomez could have been part of a swap deal and some money over the last summer. <clears throat> 
Um, but the breaking news as well today that we have is Joe Gomez is open to leaving Liverpool this summer for a new challenge. Liverpool, as I stated, agreed a package in principle £45 million for Gomez as a part of a deal that would see fellow England international Anthony Gordon switch to Anfield for £75 million. Um, and as stated, that's now been followed up by Ian Doyle. Um, he's also stated that Liverpool maintains strong interest in Gordon, particularly with Mohamed Salah, having entered the final year of his current deal and doubts over the long-term future of Lewis. Diaz. So yes, quite a lot of things there. Quite a lot of things that we've discussed there. Fabrizio Romano of course coming out with a few bits. He said make sure you watch the Gordon situation. This has now been followed up by the Mail. This has now been followed up by Ian Doyle. This has also been followed up by other sources close to Newcastle stating watch this Anthony Gordon thing because it could happen this summer as Liverpool look to try and look for the long term replacement for Mohamed Salah as he comes into the final year of his contract. Go Joe Gomez also looked like he could be making a shock departure this summer as well and of course in the Rio Nugama it does seem as though he's going to be unveiled as a Liverpool player very 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 soon so quite a lot of moving parts um, and as stated Sky Sports this morning music to our ears have stated as well that Liverpool will be guaranteed to sign some players this summer despite being I think the only club in the top five league that haven't made a transfer acquisition um, classic Liverpool. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of what we got you for you on the transfer front, guys. Of course, Liverpool back in action tomorrow, tonight, depending on where you are, 12.30. Um, as we do take on Arsenal, uh, again, looking forward to it. Still pre-season, but after that game against Betis, I really like to see that, that our new formation and uh, under slot tactics really showing under the new manager. Um, and looking forward to seeing it sort of evolve over the next couple of days. So, um, oh, the next couple of days whilst we're out in the United States. Um, I don't know about you, obviously I love Jurgen Klopp as much as the next one, but I'm kind of I'm quite attracted to these new tactics that we've kind of got and what slot ball's all about. But hopefully um, it starts to, to show and bear its fruits over the, the course of the summer, we're ready to go for that game against Ipswich um, on the first game of the Premier League season and hopefully have a player or two through the door. Uh, but Liverpool went, I think that's all I've really got for you today. Um, do let me know your thoughts. Let me just have a little look to see if there's anything I have forgot just before we get going. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I think there's a duo that's set to be, yeah, I think... Um, Curtis Jones has been boosted back into training, so that's a, uh, a good boost as well. Uh, of course, picked up an injury, and also it's, uh, Liverpool saw both Kanate and Ryan Gravenbach uh, report for pre-season with the pair undergoing uh, fitness tests and joining the squad with bulwark. It is unlikely that they'll feature against Arsenal, but as stated, players are starting to return back to the fold, and the players that got to the finals of the competitions will likely be a little bit later on down the line. But Liverpool fans, that's all I've got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. Hit the like and subscribe button uh, and make sure you do check out our summer collection we've got brand new Arne slot t-shirts as well European royalty the lot go get them link is in the description or go to copyclover.com thank you guys and see you next time take care peace